G'day guys, it's Prof from TAT. Today we have a Jeep SRT8 with a cylinder three misfire. Stick with us. So this vehicle came in to us, it's had a bit of work done on it elsewhere to try and find what this misfire is. It's a very light misfire, very, uh, to be honest with you, with the type of engine that it is being a 6.4 V8, not noticeable like it would be on a four cylinder as such. So it's a very light misfire and you know, if you didn't have the scan tool watching the misfire counter and a, and a code in front of you, sometimes you wouldn't even know. So I just want to show you what we did uh, to find out what the issue was. Uh, we had a look at the primary ignition waveform. We had a look at the injector waveform to see if we can see anything, any anomalies on the injectors or the, the um, ignition side. Before it got here, I'd already had the coils and plugs swapped over between cylinder four and three, and it didn't make a difference. Um, but we did a relative compression test and we could see that there was a, an anomaly on the compression for number three. And I'll tell you, uh, I'll show you what we did by putting a um, in-cylinder pressure transducer in it and I'll show you the waveform. So we did the in-cylinder pressure transducer test on cylinder three and cylinder four and I'll show you what the difference is. Okay, so basically on the left-hand side we've got our known good cylinder four and on the right-hand side we've got our known uh, failing cylinder three misfire and i'll take you to the one on the left the known good and obviously we're looking at our four stroke solka here we've got the power stroke we've got our exhaust stroke we've got our intake stroke and then we've got our compression stroke so what i want you to look at here is there's our zero line of atmospheric, atmospheric pressure and you can see that that is pretty much uh, in line with that and if we look at the opening point roughly of the intake valve it's around this mark here with this ruler which is 357 ish degrees that's when our intake valve opens and if we go to our cylinder three we can say we, we can see we've got the same sort of setup here but if you look at our zero line look at this little hike of pressure there and then our intake valve starts to open and look at what that number is at the bottom. So 363 roughly degrees. The known good is about 357 over here on the left. So clearly there's an, you know, we thought there was an issue going on here with this intake valve. So that was enough for us to go to the customer and say, we really need to take this rocket cover off and have a look. And uh, we did, and this is what we found. So as you can see here, that um, we're just turning the uh, engine over by hand and you can see that our known good on the right has heaps of valve movement and our number three which is on the left has very little movement and that just pretty much confirms for us we have a faulty lifter and that gives us um, you know some armor to give the customer a call and, and ask for a further teardown. So there you go guys um, it's just uh, another way of, of finding out what's going on with these vehicles and uh, not traditional misfire as such where you're looking at um, you know fuel or, or spark but i think these are unknown problems with these jeeps anyway so i hope that makes a bit of sense to you and, and shows you how a uh, similar pressure transducer can give you a real insight to what's going on in the engine thanks for watching and we'll see you next time